Go to the Tools panel of Affinity Photo and select the Ellipse tool. With the Ellipse tool, just add a very quick circle, hold down and shift. So with that, you've got this design. Now you can see it's filled with a gradient. Please check my videos on how to make gradients, etc. You've got here all different colors. You can change these stops, add additional stops by clicking on this line. Just add those, change the colors, etc. You've got a load of different options. And also you've got insert as well. So you can just click there and that will add one, change your color and add some additional color to it. And you can also change it using this. Now, what you can also do, you could use an image instead. You don't have to use a gradient. You don't have to use a shape. However, I haven't got the image. So just a gradient and a shape. Now you need to convert it into a pixel layer because you can't, unfortunately, use patterns with shapes. So it's just been rasterized. So layer menu and rasterize, and it's a pixel layer now. With that, you can go over here to layer and new pattern layer from selection. So you can see now you've got lots and lots of uh, design and you can resize it, reposition it, and you can re really make it very, very tiny. And that's the bounding box. So you've got this little bounding box. Actually makes it very hard to see when you really make it very, very, and I want to make it fairly small like that. Now you've got the design behind. You don't have to get rid of it, but you can. Simply just go over here and press delete and it's gone. Now with that, what you can do, you can go up here and you go to filters and distort and pixelate. And there it is, pixelate. And this is, again, panels put over there. I want it over here, so just drag. And what you can do, you can just up that 290, 350, and as you do it, you just get a whole range of different colors to explore because it just changes, just changes all the time. So you get some blues, greens, reds, everything kicks in. And you can change it again, as you see, it's just subtle change, 380 to 390. Suddenly the whole design will change. And then suddenly you get there, go there to 459, you've got some sort of purples, you've got blues, greens, then you've got some reds coming in and so on, so on. And you can just repeat that and you can see the design there. You can click apply. Once you're happy with the design, you think, you know what? That's a really brilliant passing grid design. Click apply. And you can continue to modify. You can even resize it. You can see the design that's there, blues and pinks and greens. But you can resize it, make it very small. Because the next step, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rasterize it as well. Well, layer and merge visible, just gonna do with that. And it's merged now. And I'm just gonna remove that pattern layer. Don't want that anymore. So it's all one single layer that you can't move, pixel. But you can go and apply filters to it. So you can go to filters, distort. You can obviously use deform, perspective, twirl, all those sorts of things. Really great with this design. And let's go for, let's go for spherical. Spherical is always a great one. You got here, 0%. I'm not certain why they start out with those sort of settings, but however, since it doesn't show anything, who wants a sphere that's 0%? However, let's just put it up so you can actually see it. You'd think they would just go for 100%. But 100%, then also what you can do, you can push this radius up. And you notice you get to 1024. Now, many of these filters, if you've got that selected here, you could actually use this and you can see, you can drag across. But what that does actually doesn't do that, it moves it around, which is quite nice as well. Pity that actually the center point isn't available on here as well, but it's not, it's an interactive feature. So what you can do, move it around, but if you want to, you know, you might think, you know what, especially if you've got a very big document, you might not think that's very good. So you can select that and you can say, you know what, I want 2005, whatever. And you can see you can make a much bigger sphere, You've got that lovely sphere design with these pixelated designs around all the way around and click apply. And of course you can use other ones as well. I've just used that one as an example, but it's a great way of creating a really weird, wonderful sphere made of these patches of color. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Thank you much.